In recent years, the term austerity has become synonymous with budget cuts, public service reductions and the trimming of social safety nets. Championed by governments as a necessary measure to balance budgets and stimulate economic growth, capitalist austerity has had devastating effects on the most vulnerable populations, the working class, including the unemployed and the sick and disabled. From an anarchist perspective, capitalist austerity is not merely a misguided economic strategy, but a deliberate tool of oppression perpetuating inequality and social control. Proponents of capitalist austerity argue that cutting public expenditures, especially on social services, is essential to reducing national debt and fostering a more competitive economy. However, this viewpoint is fundamentally flawed. It assumes that the market, when left to its own devices, will naturally allocate resources efficiently and justly, a notion that anarchists vehemently oppose and completely reject. We anarchists contend that the capitalist system is inherently exploitative and that austerity measures worsen this exploitation. By slashing social programmes, governments effectively abandon those who are most in need, forcing them into a state of economic precarity and dependence. This serves to entrench existing power structures, ensuring that the wealthy and powerful maintain their dominance over the marginalised and disenfranchised. It's all part of the class war waged by the capitalist class for their dystopian capitalist system to the detriment of working class people. The unemployed are often the first to feel the sting of austerity. Joblessness is not just a personal misfortune, but a systemic failure of capitalism to provide meaningful and secure employment for all. Austerity measures typically involve cutting and stopping unemployment benefits, reducing job training programmes and weakening labour protections. These actions leave the unemployed with fewer resources to be able to survive, and fewer opportunities to find stable employment. Austerity is also made even worse with the added problem of high inflation making things even more expensive for poor people. From an anarchist viewpoint, this is a deliberate tactic to maintain a reserve army of labour, a pool of unemployed workers who can be easily exploited to drive down wages and working conditions. By keeping a segment of the population in a state of constant insecurity, the capitalist system ensures that people who work remain compliant and unwilling to challenge their exploitation lest they join the ranks of the unemployed. The sick and disabled are also particularly vulnerable under capitalist austerity. Cuts to healthcare funding benefits and support services mean that many are left without the necessary resources to live dignified lives and indeed to live at all in some cases. The logic of capitalist austerity dictates that these individuals are unproductive and therefore less de deserving of support, a notion that is both morally reprehensible and factually incorrect. We anarchists believe that this devaluation of human life is a hallmark of capitalist societies, where worth is measured solely by one's ability to generate profit for corporations. The unemployed and sick and disabled are seen as burdens rather than as individuals with inherent value and freedoms. Austerity worsens their marginalisation, pushing them further into poverty and social isolation, and it also kills. Capitalist austerity also particularly harms the lives of working class women. Job cuts often occur in the public sector, which employs a lot of women. Austerity policies can also push more working class women into precarious, part time and low paid jobs as stable and better paid positions become scarcer. This precarity can also mean that working class women are stuck living with abusive partners who they are dependent on. This instability affects their economic security and also their ability to plan for the future. 
women rely more heavily on public services like healthcare, childcare and education. Austerity measures that slash funding for these services force women to take on additional unpaid labour at home, further limiting their employment opportunities and economic independence. With fewer public services available, women often have to compensate by providing more unpaid care for children, elderly relatives and other dependents. This can lead to physical exhaustion, mental strain and less time for personal development or leisure. The stress of economic insecurity and the burden of increased unpaid labour can have severe consequences for the mental and physical health of working class women. Reduced access to health care due to austerity worsens these issues. The compounded effect of economic insecurity, increased unpaid labour and health challenges can lead to greater social isolation and marginalisation, making it harder for working class women to access support networks and resources. In stark contrast to the austerity driven capitalist model, Anarchists advocate for a society based on mutual aid and free association. This means creating independent grassroots networks of support and direct action that operate independently of state and capitalist structures. Examples include community-run health clinics, food cooperatives, collective housing projects and renters unions. But these are just some examples. These networks can be for anything. Mutual aid is not charity, but a practice of solidarity where individuals and communities take care of one another without hierarchical power dynamics. It's a form of resistance to the capitalist system, demonstrating that alternative, non-exploitative ways of organising society are possible. By prioritising human needs over profit, anarchist practices aim to dismantle the systems of oppression that capitalist austerity upholds. Capitalist austerity is a cruel and destructive force that deepens inequality and reinforces social hierarchies, robbing people of their well-being, dignity and indeed their lives. From an anarchist perspective, capitalist austerity is not just an economic policy but a weapon of social control. The fight against capitalist austerity is therefore the fight for a just and equal society, where all individuals can thrive without fear of exploitation or neglect. Anarchist principles of solidarity, equality and direct action offer a compelling alternative, one that challenges the very foundations of capitalist oppression and envisions a world where everyone is valued and supported. Thank you for listening, everyone. All the best.